Get a spirit orb. Oh, 100 gold. Okay. Uh, each orb contains five cards. At least one will be rare or better. Yeah, we've seen that so far. We've seen that a lot. Uh, it costs 100 gold to get a spirit orb. And then these, I'm guessing these are all the different booster packs. The Shimzar. The Ancients. Unearthed. And Immortal. Cool. Specials. We got specials. How about you? Uh, four epic, eight rare, and two emotes for Lanar and Magmar. Okay. Uh, we're good. We got three thirty, uh, three twenty-five on Spirit. What can I? What can I buy with Spirit, guys? <laughs> Profile icons. Okay, so with Spirit we can buy the icons. I was joking. Who is this? I like this icon here. This is pretty dope. Who's this? The sworn sister. Yes, my name is Nick Nick Nickma. Cool. All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Today, uh, we're taking another look at Duelist for CCG Fridays. I have no idea if this is coming out on a Friday or not. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look. We're going to our next quest. Our next beginner quest, starter quest, is to play a season ladder game. I'm going to do that, but what I'm going to do is actually try building a deck. Let's try building a deck. I like deck building game, or games where, in which you have to build a deck, whether it's part of the game or whether you do that before you start playing. Uh, so let's see. We've seen a lot of cool-looking cards so far. Like I said, I'm pretty comfortable with Lion R. Uh, so let's see. Let's, let's make him our general. How would I? What do I just drag it? No. No. Am I doing it wrong? How about we hit new deck? There we go. Deck name. Deck name. Lion R Trials. This would be trialing out Lion R. Here we go. Let's put him in. So he's our general. <clears throat> Let's see if there's a card limit. Well, actually, I guess I can't tell. I don't have, an, I don't have more than three of any one card. Let's throw in the Sunstone Bracers. Yes, three is the max. Okay. Uh, we can deal two damage here. I feel like Magnetize is a good card, and it sounds like you want to use it to bring an opponent in front of your general so that you can attack. But what if instead we use it for the Windblade Adept so that we can, we can combat somewhere else? And then bring him in front of us and trigger zeal. What is that? That sounds that sounds like a an interesting way to play that. Like I don't know that that would be a good thing to do. I don't know that that's a smart way to do it, but I feel like that's it. I'm watching what's called my mana curve. Typically, you want it to be a bell curve. You want it to go uh, kind of low. You want it to go up and then kind of low back down. You don't want your you don't want too many cards that are too expensive. That's it coming back down. And then you also don't want too many cards that are cheap because later in the game they won't be so powerful. They won't be so useful. So like this here is where like two to four is where I want it to be at the highest, it seems. I do want the big creatures like the 10-10, the 8-8, eight, eight, but I want to be very careful about having too many of those. Divine Bond was actually really good. Like it feels like Lionar wants us to be on the attack. Like, if there's ever a turn that we don't attack, it feels like we've wasted. We've wasted that turn. Uh, let's see. Can I just some? Can I put whatever I want in a in a deck? Because I could have sworn this guy was uh this guy was the last one that we fought. This one was Abyssian. I could be one hundred percent wrong. Oh, it looks like I'm in the neutral pack now. All the all the stuff from before. All this is it. This is all I have for Lidar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, who? Frenzy. When attacking in melee range, simultaneous strike all other nearby enemies. He's going in. He's going to. And nobody can stop me. So we got a lot of twos. I think that's good. Twos are guaranteeing that we play something. Uh, it looks like we have a maximum of 40 cards. I'm sorry. Required 40 cards. The Blood Tier Alchemist 
isn't too good, but it's very clearly there for me to like the blood tier alchemist. He has opening gambit, so that means when I play him, he's gonna deal one damage to an enemy. He's actually a worse version of he's he's a weird worse version of true like true strike on a stick. That means it's a body. He has a body. It's a spell with a body. Opening gambit restore two health to anything. The healing mystic. I think you just earned a place on the team. Two 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 three for two, bruh. Did you heal something? Bruh. Dispel one nearby space. I guess this might be for, what was that, that darkness? That darkness thing that was from before. That darkness space, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. All right, we need a lot more heavy cards. We got 12 spaces left. We need a lot more heavy cards. Let's start looking in the heavy card section. Wait, ranged. Ranged, you can attack from anywhere on the battlefield. Okay, that's what that does. That's fire spitter. We have our boy with, uh, yeah, we have our boy with zeal. Uh, let's see. I'm trying, I'm trying to look at new cards more than the ones we play with. Grove Lion is pretty dope. When his mania is on the battlefield, your general has force field. I like that. So our general can just go in. I think when it comes to the more expensive cards, I'm going to be putting in ones. I'll do singletons. That way we can see different stuff. Deals double damage to generals. Face strikers going in. I'm putting in just one as face striker. Uh, Primus shield master. Like I said, I like the provoke effect. There's a lot of golems in this game. That's actually really interesting. I wonder. I wonder if there's a mechanic that cares about like typing and stuff, uh, or if like they plan on doing that in the future, because. All these golems, I'm not complaining, but there's a lot of different golems. Like, look, on this one page, there's three different golems. And really, all that's different between them is how their stats are differentiated and then, like, their element. This is metal. This is grass. This is ice. Let's see our big cards, dry bone golem. There, there's another golem. His element is dead. His element is dead. Wings of Paradise. Whenever you replace a card, this a minion gains two attack this turn. I'm going to put Wings of Paradise in. Uh, let's see. How about we look at Fire Spitter? Let's see, we still need five cards. I don't have that many spells. Oh, I have, I have a good amount of spells. Uh, see, I, the thing is, I don't have too many cards that are really different, you know? It's, it's partially because, you know, I just started playing. This guy is Rush. He can move and attack immediately. He's going to. He's going to. And then we have two spaces left. How about we put in two Necroseers? Oh, shoot. Our numbers, our bell care is not really working out. How about we go a little bit cheaper? Let's see. Let's look back at Lionel. Uh, we could throw in. Uh, nah, let's go back to neutral. Let's go back to three cost. Four? Yeah, let's go three. Uh, I feel like because we start with so much mana, we'll be okay with. The bell curve being a little bit higher in some areas. Let's go two fire spitters. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, we can change the card back. Where's the card back that we earned? Was it this? Was it this? Was it this? I don't know which one it was. We'll be all right. Let's go here. Let's go with this card back. It looks pretty cool. Unlock. Oh, no. The only one we have is this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, fine. That's fine. We'll be okay. All right, so that's our deck. Let's play with this. This better, this is gonna be a holy mess. This is gonna be a holy mess. I think I have an understanding of the game go though. So let's go ahead and hop into season ladder. Uh, season ladder. Obviously, this is the ranked mode of uh, duelist. Rank up each month to earn prizes at the end of each season. I'm gonna assume a season is a month. That's typically how. Uh, digital card games work so we're gonna do our first seasonal game and we're gonna play with the lion our trials all right here we go it's pretty dope so far i'm actually i'm really enjoying this. abyssian versus lion okay so we're playing abyssian it looks like there's different generals that we could choose for each group which is cool that means we have different special abilities to work with. Okay, all the cards I hand are pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. We'll be able to play anything. 
Only problem is we don't have any minion to play early. Other than these two, which means we'd be wasting the heal. I'm going to throw them both back. Uh, actually, let's throw back War Surge. I feel like in the other, in one of the healing mystics, we'll be fine. Here we go. All right, so we're both in the bronze division. We're playing Dragon Lovely. What do we get? Oh, we got our boy. I want to see this boy in action. The 1-5 with zeal and provoke. Bruh. She's up first. He's going to move in too. And she summons the Abyssal Crawler at the end of the turn. Everybody nearby space, Shadow Creep. Does it tell? It doesn't tell us. So I think it did it here. Let's see. Uh, deals damage to enemy means and general standing on it at the end of Owen's turn. Okay. So let's move in. We're going to steal that mana with our Silver Guard. He's going to be a 3-5 as long as he's right by us. He's got Provoke and Zeal. Oh, he drew our other one too. Bruh, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is going to be good. Let's see. I could have I could have destroyed him. Okay. It's going to be one of those games where I need to pay the hell attention. Death Watch gains 1-1. One, one. Whenever anything dies, it gains 1-1. One, one. So I'm going to shoot this guy down first. I'm actually glad we didn't play that spell this time. So he's going to move up there so she can take the mana. All right, we're going to shoot him down. Oh, that's what the shadow creep is. These spikes on the ground. All right. Okay, so let's say we drew this boy. How about we're going to move him? We'll move him in. He's going to lose zeal temporarily. But they'll get it back when we move behind him. We can attack here. Shoot him down so he doesn't get big. There's going to be a point where, like, a face like this, there's going to be a point where we can't deal with them. We just have to let them live. So let's kill them now. We'll give ourselves the stone bracers. We'll attack in. Now, I can either play the Healing Mystic to bring him back, or I can play the other one. And to be honest, I think I'm going to play this first. I can heal any time, but he can only attack the turn after he's played. So I think I'm going to play this one first. So we pretty much barricaded her from this thing, from all the things. He deal one damage to a minion. If it dies, the space turns into shadow creep. Okay, so he's gonna attack, and he's she's gonna use the ability. I see it now, so that he can have shadow creep in that space. What happened? Oh, shadow on spot. Okay. Abyssal crawler. Oh, oh, she put it. No, he put it here. She didn't use her ability, which is weird. Deal damage to any man. Yeah, she could have sworn it was going to go here. But that's all right. Okay, so we both have six. Collectively, we have six damage to deal to her. She'll be at ten. Let's bring our boy out. What's this? What's this do? Oh, this is Divine Bond. Perfect. It's time to go. It's time to go. Actually, I think it would have been better for us to heal him. And use that, but too late now. We're here. We're here now. Attack in. Alright, so let's see. I'm trying to predict what she's gonna do. I think this might attack here, and she'll attack me. I feel like that's either this will attack here, she'll attack me, or this guy's gonna move up after she kills here. Regardless, he's dead. Regardless, he's dead. There's nothing else she can do. Yep. Which is weird. It's kind of weird. Yep. And that's it. Okay, so who do we have? We can restore health. Or we can double. That's it. Oh, we can roar as well. Bruh. Our numbers are back. 
I feel like it's going to be so much fun for me to try and figure out how much damage I can deal with this boy on one turn. My record so far is 20. My record is 20. Victory. Dope. Okay, so that's cool. We can either add them, we can tip them five gold, or we can report them. Let's, take, let's give her five gold. That was our first one. Let's give her five of our own gold. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. That was dope. We won our first ranked match ever. So now we're ranked 29. Yo, I might actually try and see how much I can get up in the ranks. This game's not bad. This game's pretty cool. I'll reach silver at 20. So I'll upgrade my season loot crate uh, at the next division. All right. So we beat into the fray. Dope. And then first win of the day. I know you guys can tell. This ain't my first win today. <laughs> All right, so first win of the day is available in another 22 hours. Got it. Uh, get any faction to level 10 or complete three solo challenges. Solo challenges? That sounds like fun. So it looks like we've unlocked solo challenges as well. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up here. Let's, let's call it a wrap here. Uh... Like I, as always, like I said before, if you guys want to play along with me and duelists, feel free to add me. My name is Chill the Beast on here, and in the description below, you'll find a link to where you can uh, get your hands on duelists yourself. It's free. I don't think I mentioned that just yet. It's free. Uh, I like playing free-to-play card games. I, I like seeing how far I can get, how much I can play, uh, and keep up. Uh, so if you would like to see more videos like this on the channel, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video like this comes up on the stream or whenever we do something special like a live stream. Thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. It's dope. It's really dope. I like this game. I'm enjoying this.